Today we're going to be looking at a MacBook. This is an A1398 MacBook whose description is A1398, the battery exploded, it needs new battery. Let's take a look and figure out what's going on with this MacBook. The first thing that we notice, if you look at it from the side, is that the charging port on it looks a little different than your average Mac. So this is a normal MacBook charging port. This is this MacBook's charging port. Ouch. Let's take a look at the other side of the MacBook. Oh my. Wow. If only you could smell this over the camera. Oh boy. Ah, <laughs> Apple fireplace. Nice little MacBook. And as a nice touch, you can also see that it's actually leaving a stream of ash all over my desk. Wow. Okay. Time to see what it looks like on the inside. Everybody ready? One, two. Oh my oh. God! Holy what? shit! What the fuck? Whoa! Look at that trackpad. Great shit. job, Apple. Good job gluing the battery into that computer. And they say their batteries don't explode. Yeah, yeah. You're so much better than Samsung with the Note 7. This is a bigger one. <laughs> this is a bigger one. This is a bomb. Why didn't this shit catches fire. Like, Look, the PCH is brown. Can we throw this at Kevin if he puts somebody on hold? <laughs> okay, so this is the platform controller hub. This should be the same color as the CPU die. As you can see, it's brown. Uh, so this is the trackpad, cable. <laughs> Look at this. Because here's the thing: if your battery started to have issues and it was not glued into the computer, and you could just remove it with a button, then you would unplug it. But when the battery is stuck inside the computer because it's A, glued in, B, held in by a cover that's held in place by proprietary screws that you cannot get at the store, what most people are likely to do is just deal with it until your computer looks like this. Wow, look at that. Look at that resistor. No, I'm, I'm not only am I going to turn it on, I'm going to plug this in with the battery. <laughs> Let's go for it. Kevin, come here. Kevin, come here. Kevin, come here. You broke my phone, man. Listen, you broke, you broke my phone. Help me! We're good. I locked the, I locked eye contact with a man outside, and I said, "Help me!" And he just looked at me as I was being choked out. It's New York. It's New York. Nobody cares. Are you kidding? You guys have a suit by any chance, like protective gear here? Hey, listen, Tim I'll Cook. Tim worry. Cook says this is safe, <laughs> right? You trust him, right? No, not at all. Are you kidding me? Did Do you, you trust Tim Cook? Did you see the battery port? <laughs> okay, you all trust Tim Cook. I can't be. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> There's no place to plug it in. Yeah, you can't even plug it in actually. It's so. Is it so? I felt that. Okay, this is the battery. This is the power supply. It's using 1.4 amps. Oh, Whoa! Fan spin! Fan spin! Image! Yeah, Image! Oh. Image! Yeah. Image! <laughs> wow, that is insane. What? <laughs> yeah, put your hand in like... Wow. We're even, Kevin. We're even. You broke my phone. <laughs> I think that's a, that's a fair price. You might want to unplug it. Yeah, Jesus. What's wrong with it? That battery might... It already exploded. This is what Kevin did to my phone, by the way. So, okay. <laughs> See this? By accident, all right? It was by accident. Accident. I'm sorry. Yeah, and they sealed the battery in because it makes it liquid resistant. <laughs> and they got rid of the headphone jack to make more room.